Hey folks, David Frost, MyStrategicForecast.com. This is another episode in the Lazy Gap Traders series. What I want to do is I want to show you some gaps that actually played out today. This is Monday, June 8th um, from last week. And for those of you that understand the strategy and got my ebook and uh, have read through all the particulars about the strategy, understand that just because a gap play doesn't play out the day I send it out to members in the email in the morning doesn't mean that it won't play out a few days later. And that's a big part of the strategy. So what I want to show you is none, nothing played out this morning from the morning email um, except we had four plays today that played out from last week's gap plays. So let me show you the first one, which is Kroger. Uh, and this is the... Um, this is the gap that played out this morning. Here's what happened. Uh, let me go to the intraday chart. What happened was um, we had a gap, a left open gap from 70.65. Let me just show you exactly where that came from. Squeeze this together. There you go. Okay, 70.65 open gap. The stock came into it this morning. Okay, we hit a low of 70.65. You buy it at the number. And within um, a little over an hour later, we're up at 71.27 at the high. Okay, so um, anybody could have taken 40, 50 or more cents off the table with virtually no sweat. You were never out of the money for one second or one penny. The next one is GEF. Uh, and what happened here was we came into what was known as a gap window. This is explained in the ebook. What happened this morning? We came right into this gap window left open from last week. We hit a high of $39. This gap window had a high of $38.99. You take a short at $39 or $38.99 was the number. And within just an hour or so, um, you're already down at uh, $38.60 and then even lower $38.41. And those of you that understand the strategy know how to um, book some profit, take a hundred percent of your risk off the table and ride it till you see how much you can squeeze out of it for the rest of the day. So there's another one. That's another, let's call it a 40, 50 cent gainer. No problem. No sweat. TMUS. Now this one was in concert last week with an announcement of Dish Network and T-Mobile and they both went up heavy. And then a few days later in typical fashion, T-Mobile came down to retrace the left open gap, and the left open gap was at um, a low of 39.19. This morning, we hit, uh, I'm sorry, this afternoon, we hit a low of 39.09, 10 cents, and then within an hour later, we're at 39.60, an easy 35, 40 cent gainer, no sweat whatsoever, right? That's just easy pickings, folks. F-E-Y-E. -E. Now, this one didn't hit, but I want to show you the power of these numbers. Okay, I'm going to go to the longer time chart, the longer time frame. Here's your line. In fact, let me even go out, zoom out longer. Here's a weekly chart, okay? Weekly chart of FireEye. All right, this line was in here. This was going to be resistance for a gap play should it get there. And last week, I told you we'll play it again this week. Well, what happened was this morning it came into this level, all right, where did we hit? This morning, we hit a high of 52.48. What was the level? 52.50. We missed it by two pennies, and the stock reversed. Look at that sell-off. Now, that happens sometimes. We missed it by a couple of pennies. I know folks jump in early. I wait for the number. It was a no play, but nevertheless, it just shows you the power of the levels that I've identified for these, these plays. I know exactly where the stocks are going to bounce. I know exactly where the stocks are going to sell off uh, at least 75% of the time. So here's four gap plays that we had on the books last week, and we know that when they don't work out, we watch them for the next couple of days because they typically will retrace back to the support or back to the resistance of the previous gap and that's exactly what happened here with four plays could have got 35 40 50 cents out of all these four plays today um 
or at least three of them, and fire eye if you jump the gun two pennies early. So just want to show you the power of the gaps. MyStrategicForecast.com forward slash gaps. Come over, check it out. I send an email every day with the gap plays, and then we watch them throughout the rest of the few days or the rest of the week or so, and usually we get every day anywhere from two to four gap plays working, even from last week. So that's the story, folks. Come check it out, MyStrategicForecast.com forward slash gaps.